good morning guys uh, welcome back to math cloud scm so today our topic is how to create custom roles and how to manage more than one shared role and also how to provide data access for your custom role see the custom role creation is widely used in the rp cloud so most of the projects most of the clients they don't want to you know use the shared roles directly into the cloud so before going to the roles let me provide some insights like you know what is this role what what exactly uh, are the usage of the role see guys this is the actually part of security consultant uh, kind of activity but sometimes you know security consultant it won't be like a separate guy so who are there like procurement consultant or om consultant those guys will ask to do this kind of activity so <clears throat> if you take the oracle cloud oracle cloud if you want to you know uh, use that oracle cloud or you want to work with oracle cloud there should have a job roles data roles and abstract roles these are the various roles okay moment if you want to work with requ requisitions or purchase orders or order management whatever so we need a job role so the job role will decide what kind of privileges the person is having so that that guy the the user the employee can do the activities in the transaction okay that is the job role so there may be a chance of asking the question if you have a job role is it sufficient to do the transaction no we should have a data role data role or nothing but data access duty role so i have a procurement request role that is shared role i'm talking along with you should have a data access means for which bu for which business unit this specific guy wanted to create the requisitions that is data role or duty role duty role nothing but job role plus data access and data role, some people used to call as different different names but don't confuse here data role is decided for our example let's say requester wanted to create the requisition for india business unit then he must have that job role plus data access if these two are having having by the employee then he can able to create it okay and abstract role abstract role is the one of the unique role it is it is doesn't require any data access like product data steward okay so that is the one of the role which is required to define the items so it doesn't require any data access okay so uh, like that uh, <clears throat> uh, we have a lot of abstract roles are there in the cloud so basically what are the roles what are the classifications which you have is job role du duty role and abstract role so employee is the abstract role okay and duty role data access duty role nothing but job role plus data access remember guys that's all now coming to our topic so why people won't use because of security or because of some xyz reasons they don't want to relay always the shared role they want to merge two to three roles into one custom role or uh, they want to remove some uh, creation access view access so like that we can do lot of r and d or lot of uh, consolidation into your custom roles now my top our topic is how to create that custom role okay so we'll go to the system and i will show how to execute the steps and create the role okay so in order to create the role we should have a it security manager that is the role that is job role which is required for your what for your user so once you have a it security manager then you become the super user okay super user means you can create the roles or you can delete the roles you can 
add the roles or you can <clears throat> create the user accounts as well. Super, super user means you will do a lot of you know admin activities. That's why we call it as a super user. Similarly, in EBS concept. Now go to security console. So I have a IT security manager. That's why the system will be showing that icon of security console. Okay. Here, if we see once you have IT security manager, all this will be visible for you. Role, users, analytics, certificates, so like that. Okay. Now our focus is roles. Okay. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking one seeded role, just I will copy it and I will show how to merging, how to merge more than one role. Okay. Now <clears throat> procurement request I'm taking. Procurement request. Okay. So this is the seeded role. So where we are in, we are in the roles page. Now I want I wanted to make custom role for this. And also I wanted to add preparer some of the roles uh as a uh, what do you call merging so here copy this role so this is the best practice people you know uh, they won't uh, create you know uh, directly the role create a uh, create role with this button because oops what happened hold on guys <coughs> Yeah, copy, once you do the copy, we will get cop copy to top role and copy top role and inherited roles. Inherited role means some of the roles which automatically appear and either you can choose any one of the option. It's not a problem, but recommended one is inherited also, you can choose it. Click on copy. So automatically system will append custom. If you want to add some name, unique name, you can give, not a problem. So just for differentiation, uh, we have our, uh, what is that, uh, prefix, right? What is that? Um, OT, right? OT. OT or beauty, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'll give like this. Then I don't want to change anything here. So if you want here, you can keep your beauty name, Uti. This is not a predefined role. Click on next. See, so automatically system will show all your uh, privileges. Suppose if you want to inherit the privileges, load inherit policies. So system will show all the privileges under that specific role. Okay. So whichever sometimes you know system will allow to do delete, but inherited role, inherited privileges system won't allow to delete. Okay. So here we have a beautiful plus button is there with that you can add the privilege. For example, let's say I want to add view requisitions on. Okay. So that thing we can add from this add function security. So let me add that view recreation all. <clears throat> so like that there are multiple things so this is the where i am in i am in the second stop second train stop there i am adding the privilege this privilege helpful the requisitions created by other users within the data within the bu suppose i created a uh, requisition and for example let's say b wanted to see my requisitions of that specific bu if you have this privilege automatically the other guy can see that okay that is a your equations privilege in essence okay. click on add go to cancel see we are in the where functional security policies you click on next so these things we don't need to do any modifications click on next here role hierarchy so if you want to match this is the place to add 
multiple seeded rows under one custom rule. Now click on add. Now what I want to add, I want to add requester. Procurement requester. Repair we are requester I want to add. Add a rule. And also I want to add advanced procurement requester. Whatever you yeah. Advanced, advanced advanced procurement question. See, guys, you remember whenever if you're adding the seeded role, always you just check what is the prefix. Prefix of seeded roles always start with O R E. O R E. Okay. So, like that, how many roles you want to match, you can add it and Suppose, let's say, see, whenever if you add the roles, automatically all inherited roles will also come here. Let's say I want to delete this equation viewing. I want to delete this inquiry of tables. I want to delete this one. You can do your kabaddi here. Whatever you want, you can do. Why we got a custom here? See, this is something we did. We take a custom role also and we made a uh, image here. But remember, always things has to start from what is the seeded one. Okay. Yeah, there is some custom role also we created. That's fine. So this is the place where we will use this place, this try and stop to add multiple roles. Okay. Click on next. <clears throat> Here users for which user this role wanted to apply. Suppose let's say test. Test one, two, three. Yeah. So no need to go to user again. Just from this place, you can add this role to user. Okay. And I was telling about add the uh, what you call uh, data access, but I could not see that. <clears throat> I could not see that. One second, let me go back. This is the role place data security policies. Functional means this is a privilege. See, most of the time, which trend shops we are touching is trend shop two for privileges. And resources, no need to go that. Data security policies. These also we are not touching much. Role hierarchy. That is what we have seen. And uh, here sometimes this fifth one will come but for some of the roles it won't come so I'll, I'll check it out but yes i saw even you can add the data access Just click on next user we added click on next system will show the, all the summary data security functional so whatever we did it will display here and submit and close. So system will generate one process. So this this will run in the background as a yes a job. So we have a scheduled process, right? So there we it will run, and after some time, your role will come into active. Okay. So let us show that where it is running. Uh, this is something just the schedule process. 
I don't know how to stop this ask button. See. Import user and role security data. Some of the automatic uh, uh, programs are running. We took that process ID or not? Something we took, right? Okay, so once these things, this weight is there, right? Import, this is the program, system automatically will run. And once it has been completed, then we can see your role appear in the roles drop down. So let us go and verify. OT, right? OT underscore procurement. Oh, is there? Yeah, system is created. Okay. And somewhere I've observed whether this role is actual or not. So let us go and verify. Just I want to go to some user. I wanted to add while adding whether my role is coming or not. That is the ultimate thing, right? So I added the role to my credentials. Let me check for another person. So let us take this Patrick or Del whatever. Edit. Add a role. OT underscore procurement. Yes. So this has been successfully deployed in the system and it is available under the role staff. So this is the way to make merging of more than one seeded role into a custom role. It's not seeded roles even if you want, you can match the custom role, but people won't do that kind of things. Only seeded role they will match and they will make one new role. Okay. So hope uh, this particular uh, video will give some kind of way how to make these custom roles. Okay. Because this particular activity we are doing very frequently in the end users like client side. Okay. So with this, have a great, wonderful day and I'm going to end up. Thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. I'm super excited. So I am probably, I told previous uh, sessions also wanted to add the, uh, some of the guys like, you know, the users who is using or who is watching my YouTube, they asked me, can we prepare? Can we prepare scenario based questions for procurement module? So I said, yes, I agree that I'm preparing that probably maybe a couple of days or a couple of weeks. I'm going to put it into the YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you so much. Please subscribe my channel. And I'm very happy to interact with the user's comments. Also, I want to give whatever knowledge I have. I cannot say like I'm hero in all the modules. No. Everyone is no. Okay, people will tell, but practically it is impossible. But whichever areas, whichever areas which we are confident in those areas only, I'm going depth and I'm giving my feedback. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Have a